so here we'll see writing a function call in other function so till now we have discussed the point where function call is written in main code and through that function call the um, execution to the function definition is initiated and accordingly it will execute that function now how to write a function call in other function okay so in this syntax uh, you can see two function definition function 1 and function 2 okay and after that one may uh, statement is written in main code which is function 1 okay so what is the task of this function 1 so this is the function call we have seen this concept in prior slides so uh, as soon as this is executed function 1 is executed it will transfer control towards the function 1 execution okay then it it will start execution of this function 1 okay but in function 1 we have one more statement which is which is nothing but a function call and that function call is to for other function okay so as soon as this function call is executed again it will jump towards the function 2 definition okay then it will execute the whole function 2 and then again it will come back to the statement from where it is called that it will execute rest of the statement of function 1 and once it is finished it will go back to the original or the initial line where from where it is called okay so this is the way of execution when we are trying to call function from other function okay so in this statement function 2 will be called from function 1 okay so we call it as a calling function okay so function 1 initiates call to the function 2 so we call it as calling function okay and that call will be initiated to function 2 that's why here we called as function 2 as a called function okay so to summarize this we'll say this is the function 1 which is nothing but the calling function which will initiate call to function 2 and this is nothing but a called function which is called from function 1 okay this is nothing nothing but the function call to function 2 okay and this is the function call to first function okay now this is the function definition which we have seen function definition okay now we'll see one problem statement that how this exactly works in a code okay so what is the problem statement write a program with two functions which accept and display uh the values okay so which type of values so accept will accept a roll number from user and display is used to display the same okay so we have to simply write two function definition accept and display accept will accept a roll number and display will display the same roll number which is accepted by that function okay so we'll see how to execute this so we have to write the first function which is used to accept a roll number so the df accept no need to pass the parameters to accept function because we are accepting value in accept function so we'll write r equal to int input enter a roll number okay and then we have to display this value okay now in this uh, display we are going to define this function which will take one value n let's suppose and we want to display it as a output so we'll say print roll number is and then we are going to display value of n okay so we are calling this function so we can initiate that call from accept function so how to initiate that call we'll write display r okay so as soon as this function is called it will jump for here it will pass value r to n okay and then it will display that value theek okay? hai so we have till now we have written two functions accept function and display function accept will uh, take the value of r from user and it will pass on that value to display function whatever the value pass on uh, by accept function that is received by display function and then display will print that value as output okay once it is done it will come back to the accept function and again from that the main call okay so the next is 
the function call okay so now in this code we have just defined two functions okay now to initiate a call to a function we have to write the main statement where we are going to call accept function okay so how it this goes on this statement will initiate a call to accept then accept will accept this value then that value will be passed to the display function this display function call when initiate a function call to display it will print the value as output then it will come back to the accept function and then finally towards the the main statement from where it is called okay so when we execute this code it looks like it is accepting for roll number okay and then enter will got the output okay so to check that every statement is called we'll write the print statement so i'll say here print accept is called okay i'll write here okay so roll number is printed that means display is being called and after accept finally we'll write print end okay and of again before accept also we'll write print start okay so if you understood the concept you can easily rec recognize the sequence of these statements which is printed as a output okay so first it will print start then accept call okay then it will print enter a roll number it will accept a roll number it will jump four year then it will print roll number is 10 okay then it will come back over here then it will print accept is called again from here it will come back towards the statement from where it is called so finally it will print end so when we execute the code it will display the output as start then uh, enter a roll number it will accept for the value then it will display roll number is 10 then accept is called and finally end okay so i hope you understood the concept of a function call from other function and how this execution goes on okay and uh, again the concept which we have discussed in these series of lectures from function uh, part 1 function part 2 and function part 3 okay all the concept okay please uh, see the videos in a sequence so that you'll get the concept more clearly more precisely okay and uh, for the practice you can say you can try for these two programs okay that is write a program using functions to find cube of a number by passing number as a parameter and second one is write a program using function to find the sum of first n numbers so i hope you liked all the videos okay try to um, uh, practice more on these problem statements so you'll get the clear idea about the functions which we have discussed in these three lectures Thank you